through, one on one, and a fantastic finish. And that's exactly his job eating up any sort of opportunity that comes and trying to bury it near post or going across. Today we're looking at 89 rated brand new hero Bialy. You can see here 5 foot 11, high medium, 3 star, 4 star, right footed, play striker or centre forward, has absolutely fantastic finishing shot power, good composure, okay JT and balance for his height, good short pass, great strength, header and accuracy, stamina. In terms of play styles, we've only got power shot, power header, we have also got acrobatic plus and relentless which means he hasn't run out of stamina. Now there are a few chem styles you can go for We've actually gone for a Hawk, and the main reason being is in the system that we're playing in, we want to maximize that pace and shooting. More of the shot power than anything to get him to 96, 95. Makes him into a 90 rated striker. Now, some people have suggested engine. I do understand to boost agility and balance, but honestly, I don't think he really needs it. You can see that he keeps him on 89, makes him an 88 rated center forward. Also, Hunter as well, which is a sound of similar thing to what I wanted to do, but I wanted to maximize his shot power, not his finishing. So, 91. So, we are playing in a 4 2 3 1 system, and Vial is going to be up front on his own. His main job is really to get goals and sort of assist, etc. But with this body build of being 5 foot 11, 181 or 108 centimeters average, three star, four star, I imagine he's going to be very, very clinical for us up front. And, of course, being quite physical as well is going to give us a lot of opportunities. Now, if we were to have a look at the team that he's going to be running around with, you can see we've got Son, Player of the Month there, Depay. Good defense as well, so it should be a nice, even game. Let's just go jump into some gameplay and see how Bialy does for us today. Stop right there with the introduction of kits, tokens, and now evolutions needed FC points or coins to complete them. There is no better time than to head over to IGDM.com. Get yourself some coins, very, very cheap, fast and reliable. Use discount code Nanic at the store and get 5% off. The link will be in the description. So let's have a look at our opponent's team. Like I said, we are playing in a 4-2-3-1 with Viali up front on his own. Now, his main job is really to get goals, of course, but also his assisting ability if he has an opportunity to pass through. Now, it reminds me of um, Papin. They're very, very similar. Same price, same rating, kind of similar stats, apart from Papin, of course, has the power shot plus. But Bialy on the ball here. Nowhere to go. He's going to hold it up. That's just going to be his job when he's playing in this alone up front striker role. Now we've got that ball. I think he's just on. He is. One on one with the keeper. Take our time and we drill it. Fantastic finish from him. That's going to be his job. Holding up that ball and then playing a little one two into the space. Great movement by him. A good start. First shot on target. One goal. Right, again, De Bruyne take a touch. Bialy running on last man. Oh, I didn't see the two defenders there. That's poor from me. Bialy, good touch. Poor pass, so I have to say that might actually cost us a goal here. Oh, I've actually opponent made a bad pass himself. Now, Bialy here, got a ball out. Oh, good defense from Blanc. Bialy there running again, good touch. Bit of skill to get away, a little pass into Son. Nearly had the ball back, but couldn't they? You can see though, the opportunities he's given us with his little, little steps over and getting that space. Intercept, Bialy running. I think he's just off. He is, that's a shame. In behind almost every single time for us at the moment, we will get another opportunity to score. As we might have had it got right now. As we get ourselves into his position. Bialy there. It's not the best pass from Salah. It is 1-0. Very, very tough game. Bialy's broken the offside trap. 1-1 one -on -one with the keeper. Grill keeper movement. Easy slot. Two shots. Two goals. I've realised why we're struggling to break him down. He's playing five at the back. So we are getting very limited options. Bear in mind he's playing up front on his own. He's managed to get two goals in this game with only two shots. Bearing in mind, he has to be super clinical now as we do get him here. Lovely hold-up play. Great pass into De Bruyne. Early shot and a fantastic save from the goalkeeper. He's going to get it as well. But he is holding up on his own. Like I say, he's been very, very clinical for us, but his passing is very consistent as well. We are getting the space when we need it. So we get the ball here. I forced that ever so slightly. Do intercept. Bialy here. Oh, it's a good tackle from Blanc. And he's cut back and cut across. Oh, rivals, just everybody does the same stuff. Cut across, cut back, etc. Oh, we are beating him again. Oh, a bit of bad control. Holds off. Oh, what a finish. Three goals now for him. Three shots, three goals. Super clinical. But we are getting a bit distracted here with the weight. Oh, he's trying to kick off glitch and he's messed it up. We'll take that. We do actually accidentally header it back to him, though. I think he's getting frustrated because of how clinical Viali is. He's running here. Can we find him? Oh, we had him clean through if Valverde could play that pass. Keeper, right, let's go. Counter-attack. We've actually got the five at the back. Stretched for a little bit. Viali running. Ball over the top. Can we find him? Can he win that header? I mean, that technically is winning it. Using that left stick. Oh, lovely turn. Again. Good tackle. I couldn't get the angle to get the shot off to get a decent shot there. Should have maybe cut across, but I don't really want to cut back. So we do make a good tackle, keeping that pressure on. 
Oh, Bialy, first shot, and it's gone wild. That is a shame. The first shot he's missed on target. Been super clinical for us. What we are actually going to do here, because I've noticed our opponent is a little bit lackluster when it comes to passes. We're going to bring on Mkhitaryan to go inside to pass, which is going to give us a little bit more space in behind. Now, our opponent is playing five at the back, which is very, very difficult. We've been very limited. We've had four shots at three goals with Viali. Maybe we should have had four out of four, but we have got corner here. So what we're going to do is have a look at his set pieces to see if he's any good at penalties, free kicks. Now, I'm pretty sure he's good at penalties, but not the best at free kicks. As you can see there, 58 free kick, not the best to see. So we're going to play it short. And then we're going to try and find Viali on the header. The ball to Witzel, actually. Oh, nearly got out off that. And that's half time. So four shots, three goals. It's been a really difficult game. I'm not going to lie to you. Five at the back, we are struggling. Not because it's his fault. It's just how our opponent is playing. Just to show you what he is playing here, if we go to performances, you can see when we switch over, our opponent is playing that five at the back system. So he's got... Basically, Marquez is a centre-back slash CDM in the box role. And then his back four is Carl Walker, centre-back, Blanc, Koyunde. And then he's playing Dembele as a right wing-back. So we are going to target that a little bit more. Now, with the limited chances he's had, he's buried every single shot apart from one. So we're going to see if we can carry on with him. We are going to do the kickoff glitch on our opponent to see. And we've messed it up anyway, so it doesn't matter. We do manage to get ourselves a ball out wide, though. Biali running. Can we play a ball over the top? It's a good ball. Not going to get on the end of it, though, unfortunately. Let's go. Counter-attack. Got Bialy running already. Got that through ball from Kev. Good hold up play. Oh, I did the wrong skill move there. It's poor from me. Do intercept though. Bialy already running. We get him. He's got a lot of work to do using that strength and a great tackle. We do get a free kick, which is nice to have, but we're very unlucky not to break through there. Play it back to Mkhitaryan for a minute. Look for that pass out wide. Got Bialy in the middle. Oh, that's a good tackle. Tried to do a quick taps turn on him there. Didn't quite work. And for that cutback, again, he's not having it this time. Right, let's go counter-attack. Got Salah running. Got Bialy running. He's in behind, I believe. He's on. Oh, look how slow he is there. What even happened? Slow right down. Be careful. Got Bialy running. Can we find him? We can. It's a good touch. Gets away from Blanc. Keep a movement. Ah, that's a good save. That's a shame. I thought that was the winner. Could have gone a bit closer, but I thought I could catch him out. Yali, cross goal. And again, a lovely save from the keeper. Couple chances coming in now. Yali here, good tackle there from Carl Walker. Keeping that pressure on, though. Nowhere to go right now. Kevin De Bruyne. Back to Mkhitaryan for a second. Viali, straight turn. What a finish. What a goal that is. We are taking the lead against this five at the bat rat. And we've managed to have a few chances that we should have scored. But he's managed to finish that on his weak foot as well. I will add. Now he's panicking. That's what we want. Straight into Viali. That's a poor part, mate. He's passing. Are you saying it was very good? I've actually taken that back. I don't think it's that good at all. We do get away with it here. Again, a bit of a bad pass. We managed to get the ball out of the situation. Trying to get past. Bialy, oh, I didn't want to sweat it. We've got one minute left to hang on. Managed to win the ball. We've got Bialy at the top here. What a ball in to see the game out. Off the post. Oh, what just happened at the end of the game? Managed to get the win in the end. He got himself three or four goals. Really good performance against a very, very frustrating and tough game. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. He isn't the best striker I've used. I know he's very clinical. But his link-up play is a little bit inconsistent. But let's go jump over to Footbin now and talk about it. So it's coming in about 40,000 coins, and I think that's probably a fair price. There is rumours of a base hero SBC coming out. So if you've got him in that, you've probably got yourself a bit of an L, I'm going to be honest with you. Now, we had an engine on him, and I did like the engine. I do think it did the job in terms of agility and balance. His finishing was really good. But this 83 strength is definitely a lie. And I think the reason being is because he's got an average body type in about 5 foot 1180 centimeters. Because everybody has anticipate or have really fast left back, right backs, etc. He just doesn't really fit the mold of the meta very well, which is a shame. You could have definitely gone for a dead eye to maximize that finish in a short pass or even a hawk as well. Overall, the card's fun to use. I just think he's a bit behind the power curve now. And we can definitely play him up front on his own or in a two or a three. You saw how clinical he was. Very good at passing in terms of short pass, but long pass, very inconsistent. And I do this, I prefer Papine myself. Like I said, they're very, very similar. But as always, if you have any questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.